Hello sisters, and welcome to another week of a virtual Relief Society. Once we begin, I want to share my experience when this all this COVID and everything first started to come down on us, when we really first started feeling it. It was right before spring break, and I received a call that my uncle had passed away. So we were planning on going to Rexford for the funeral. And as I'm getting things ready and packing and loading the car, we start hearing things like that church has been canceled for the next little while and that the temples are going to be closed following that Monday. But as I'm packing, I'm thinking, well, you know, after a couple of days, things could change and maybe we'll reopen. So I decide anyway, I'm going to bring my all the church clothes and our temple bags anyway. So we left Friday when Jaron got off of work and it was a bad bad roads driving and just really nasty so we didn't get in till about three o'clock in the morning and then had the funeral the next day at nine o'clock and it was a really difficult funeral uh, to go to so I was emotionally and physically spent but it was the only day I had to be able to go to the temple because it was closed that was the last day it was gonna be open for who knows how long so we decided to go to the temple anyway and I'm so grateful I did because I, I have such a strong testimony of the temple and the spirit that is there and the, the ordinances that are being performed inside the temple. But I have this really strong feeling and remembering remembrance, I guess, of the saints in Nauvoo. And as they left to go to the Rocky Mountains and they are walking down Parley Street, leaving their temple. And I kind of felt that as I left, that I was leaving the temple to face an unknown that I didn't know was going to happen. And I didn't know when I could have that temple back again. I didn't know when I could go back again. And it was such a sadness that hit me. And then when Elder Bednar gave his talk on temples at General Conference, that sadness initially set in again. As I thought, well, here he is talking about the importance of the temple and no one can go. Like, we want to, we want to, but we can't. And then he said... He said, as members of the Lord's Restored Church, we stand all amazed at the ever-accelerating pace of his work in the latter days, and more temples are coming. And that brought a feeling of hope, just sparked some hope into me that more temples are coming. And during General Conference, eight new temples were announced. And it was a reminder to me that the temple work has not ended. The temples are closed. We can't go in there right now. I guess some can temporary anyway but we can't go into the temple right now but we can still do temple work and we always can that whether we have a temple recommend a limited use temple recommend or no temple rank recommend we can do temple work and that is through family history if we didn't find those names if we didn't do the sources and the research we wouldn't have names to take to the temple in Elijah's promise that the hearts of the children return to their fathers and the fathers to the children, that prom part of that promise is genealogy, it's family history. It is just as important as going to the temple to do their work is finding the names to do the work for. And it just brought this enlightenment to me that I've always had this testimony of the temple, but where has my testimony been on family history? And how have I really taken have I taken that seriously and have I worked at that and this this moment of reflection that I've been able to have without being able to go to the temple has reminded me of the importance of doing temple work at home I, I hope that makes sense what I'm trying to say well I put together this short film short clip about the temples uh, I pray that as you watch it that you'll be able to feel of the spirit that temples are able to bring into your home, the blessings that you've felt, and also what you can do to help push this work forward. We do not come to the temple to hide from or escape the evils of the world. Rather, we come to the temple to conquer the world of evil.
While worshiping in the temple is presently not possible, I invite you to increase your participation in family history, including family history research and indexing. I promise that as you increase your time in temple and family history work, you will increase and improve your ability to hear Him. The fundamental obligations that rest upon us as members of the Lord's restored church are one, to hear Him and have our own hearts changed through covenants and ordinances, and two, to fulfill joyfully the divinely appointed responsibility to offer temple blessings to the entire human family on both sides of the veil. With the Lord's direction and help, indeed, we will fulfill these sacred duties. I solemnly testify that the Father and the Son appeared to Joseph Smith and Elijah restored the sealing authority. Sacred temple covenants and ordinances can strengthen us and purify our hearts as we hear Him and receive the power of godliness in our lives. And I witness that this latter-day work will destroy the powers of darkness and bring about the salvation of the human family. Of these truths, I joyfully testify in the sacred name of the Lord Jesus Christ, amen.